in this section we will learn the third loop statement that is for loop which is very commonly used in uh, implementing loop okay so in the last sections we were discussing about while and do while loop while loop is an entry control loop while do while is an exit control loop so let's learn the third one that is for loop for is again it is an entry control loop and let's check the syntax initialization semicolon test condition semicolon increment after increment there is no semicolon and you close the bracket and then you have the curly bracket within the curly bracket you write the body of the loop so in the last two sections we by now you know what is a loop variable we need a variable which uh, and it has different parts the first part we initialize it with a value then you need a provision to give the condition to check the condition and that will be dependent on this loop variable and the last part is it has to be updated the value has to be updated or incremented so here you write like this if i is a loop variable for int i is equal to 0 semicolon i less than 10 semicolon i plus plus so initialization is i equals 0 test condition is i less than 10 increment is i plus plus this means that initially i value is 0 loop will be executed then uh, loop will not be executed it will check the condition because it is entry control loop so if i is less than 10 obviously 0 is less than 10 so condition is satisfied true then i plus plus is it is incremented one time and then the body is executed so same thing is here so while and for loop both are entry control loops so this is the flow chart for a for loop First, an initialization expression, for example, i equals 0 like that. Then test condition. If it is true, the loop will be executed. If it is false, it will come out of the loop. And after executing the loop, what will happen? It will update the expression. So, we can check here, for example, if we need to print the first n natural numbers, what will happen? Say, n, you have the value from the user. If that be the case, say, for int i is equal to 0 semicolon i less than 10 i plus plus you give like this okay and within the curly brackets you write you just need the print so say write printf slash and percentage d i you need the value of i to be printed okay if this be the case what will happen here initialization expression means you are initializing the value of i with zero then test condition what is the test condition i less than 10 so it will check for this condition as long as this condition is true this will be executed so block of statement is to print say printf i this is the body of the loop here this is only one statement then updating expression means i plus plus you know that it is a post increment operator so initially i value zero then i value will become 1 then i value will become 2 as long as i less than so what will be the value that i will be taking initially i value 0 and that is less than 10 also so loop will be executed then i equals 1 again is i less than 10 so this will go on executing till i is equal to 9 when i is 9 again this will be executed but when i becomes 10 what will happen the condition is not satisfied so loop is executed for values i is equal to 0 to 9. So printf will be, it will print from 0 to 9. So this is a very simple example with for loop. As it is an entry controlled loop, what will happen? i is equal to 10, condition is not satisfied. So corresponding to the value of i is equal to 10, it will not enter the loop. It will not enter the loop. Okay, so I can take values from 0 to 9. Okay. And for executing the for statement, the various uh, state, state, steps are, one is initialization. So here we used i or you can use another variable say count. So you can give an initial value. So such variables are called loop control variables and there is a provision for initializing it. Second step is testing. So, from the last example, you can relate it. i is equal to 0, that is the first step. Then i less than 10. So, the control variable or the loop variable value is tested. So, here the same example is given. When i less than 10, that means condition has to be verified. If condition is true, body of the loop will be 
executed and the loop will be terminated when the condition is no longer satisfied. The third point is control variable is incremented. So I plus plus that means post increment. I plus plus means what? I plus plus is equivalent to I is equal to I plus 1. Okay. So I value is incremented by a 1. Okay. And if we need even numbers or something like that, we need always to increment the value by 2. If that be the case, you can give I is equal to I plus 2. Okay, you can give like this based on our requirement. That's why we can say that control variable is incremented or updated. We can more uh, correct term will be control variable is updated based on the requirement. It, 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 we cannot say that it's always added by value 1. Okay. So now you can uh, compare the three loops. So, if it is 4, it will be 4 n is equal to 1 n less than or equal to 10 n plus plus like that. If it is while, while condition, then body of the loop. So, initialization should happen at the beginning. Then in do while, initialization anyways should happen at the beginning. But in do while, condition is only after the loop. While, uh, in case of while loop, condition will happen at before the loop. So, that is only difference. Initialization is outside the loop and Updation happens inside the loop in case of both while and do while. And initialization is a must because then only the value can be incremented within the loop. So initialization is must in both do and while and it happens before the loop. Okay, so in case of loop variable it has three parts. One is initializing the variable. Second is condition to be verified. Third is incrementing or updating the value. So, these three things should be included whether we are using while or do while or for. And in these three cases, for and while are entry controlled loop and do while is exit controlled loop. So, now let's check a program with for loop. Now, let's write a program to print the first n numbers using for loop. So, we discussed the same program using while and do while in the last section. So, now we will write the program with for loop. So, you need the value of n. So, we have the value. User has entered it and it is saved in the variable say n. And what is the syntax of for loop for? First is initialization. So, int loop variable let it be i. For int i is equal to if you give 0, it will start printing from 0. So, if you need from 1, you give 1. For int i is equal to 1. Next condition, it's an entry control. So, i less than or equal to n. Okay, then i plus plus. Okay, so this is the syntax for the for loop. So, you know that for any loop, there are three parts. Initializing is the condition to be verified is the variable updation or incrementing is there. All three are given in order in case of for loop. So, it's complete and you just add the body of the loop. What, what is to be done? Just give a print. Printf slash n percentage d to show that's an integer. You just print i. So, the code is complete. When we write while or do while, this printf is there and variable updation is given inside the loop in case of both while and do while. But in case of for loop, initializing the loop variable, condition to be verified and the loop variable updation, it is given in order like this. So, this is a syntax for for loop. And within the body of the loop, just uh, include statements that are to be executed. That is say print i. Only that is needed. Variable updation will happen along with this. Okay. But when you write while and do while, you must remember this variable updation is important and that should be included inside the loop in case of while and do while. So, this is an example for entry controlled loop, for loop and we are trying to print first n natural numbers. So, let's check the output. Let n be 10. We will give the value as 10. You got the output. Another thing is, 
it need not be like incrementing by a value of 1 we need, if we need like uh, from starting from 1 to n you need to print say even numbers so first number say 2 okay if even number you need to print from 2 i less than or equal to n and then i I should be incremented by 2. So, I equals I plus 2. That you can write as I plus equals 2. That also I have explained uh, in that shortcuts for uh, arithmetic operators. So, I equals I plus 2 can be written as I plus equals 2. So, now let us check the output. So, for getting the value of n you will give say 20 you get 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 so inside the loop we just gave the print for i so i values are like this i value starts with the 2 then 4 because we gave uh, the updation we gave it as i plus equals 2 so once i is equal to 2 it becomes 4 then 6 this happens as long as i less than or equal to n so till it becomes 20 this is repeated okay so this is another example so i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus equals 2 so this was the last example so how many times loop will be executed first loop corresponds to i is equal to 1 okay so i is printed then what happens i is added by 2 so i plus equals 2 means i equals i plus 2 so 1 becomes 3 so second loop is when i is equal to 3 again 3 is printed then again it will go on like i is equal to 5 so here we gave n as 10 so what will happen it will go on till 10 so i is equal to 5 then i is equal to 7 then i is equal to 9 so this was the case Check it again. We are giving the value say 10. Okay, output what was 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So that means the loop was executed how many times? 5 times. And uh, there are, you can get questions like how many times loop will be executed like that. So, number of times a loop will be executed, you can count like this. So, 5 times loop was executed for values 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay. And next case is you can write it such that it, the loop can move in the reverse direction or backward direction of the value of i. For example, I need to print say let n value be 10 and I need to print from 10 to 1. Okay, I should print from 10 to 1. So, initial value of i should be 10. So, initial value I got it instead of i equals 1, now i is, less, I is equal to 10. Then this is the true condition when loop is executed here i should be greater than or equal to 1 okay as long as i greater than or equal to 1 this loop should be executed so second condition also modified then i minus minus so 10 should become 9 9 should become 8 like that so it is i minus minus so let's modify the code initial value should be 10 condition is i greater than or equal to 1 then i minus minus let's check that i is equal to n i less i greater than or equal to 1 that is the condition to be satisfied to continue in the loop then i minus minus so this is an example for a loop where loop variable is decrementing so now again let's check the output we are expecting output from 10 to 1 if we are giving the value of n as 10 so you got the output so, in different ways we can use for loop. 